Okay, you gotta give us a moment. waiting for this moment the whole day. Hello. Welcome to the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. My voice is back. Thank goodness. I'm over the cold. Well, yeah, because it's cold outside again. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) That's all it takes is a major change in the weather and (laughs) everybody's back to, you know, their normal selves. I know, right? It's been raining a lot here in New York. I'm not mad about it because it washes away all the junk, all the pollen and the dust. Well, true, but like there was a... Torrential downpour. Torrential downpour yesterday. I know. And tornadoes. People, people were dying, right? Here in the city? Maybe not here in the city, but oh, like in maybe the in somewhere. Yeah, trees were falling and shit. Yeah, I saw it on the news or something. Mother Nature's not happy. No. Well, uh, honey, the, the fact that it's mid-May and we're getting spring weather, this, sh- this should have been happening a month ago. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you. This happened last year, too. It's on yeah. delay now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be It's gonna be like this from here on out now. Mm-hmm. Probably. I know. these. There's a lot of listeners, I'm sure, that live in beautiful year-round weather. Yeah. They don't, they don't know anything about <laughs> the changing of the weathers. Uh-huh. But you can it's feel... It's quite drastic. You can tell it's fucked up. It is. It is. You know, Mariah's out there in L.A. just living her life. Mm-hmm. It's like... Same, like, I don't, that's just so weird to me. Like, I, I don't, couldn't do that, even though it sounds really good. I know, right? Like, I would love it to be sunny and 70 every day. Apparently, there's, like, a huge migration of New Yorkers going to L.A. to live. Well, yeah, well, number one, because it's super expensive here. Yes, and the weather. And the weather. Because, you know what, the last few winters have been really not cute here. I know. Like, usually New York has a fairly mild, from my experience, a Mm. fairly mild, like, wet winter. Mm -hmm. These past few ones have been long and brutal. Mm -hmm. Like, not cute. Mm -hmm. Like, they were giving me flashbacks to Chicago Uh winters. And I'm like, no, ma'am. I thought I was getting away from that. Uh But it's all coming this way. Yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of wearing me down. It's a lot. It's a lot. Because here in New York... There's so many tall buildings yes. that even on the sunny days, it's hard to get sun. And oh, you yeah, need the sun. Yes, to like live. Yes. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, girl. Yes. You can't just pop a pill. You need the sun because like, you know, it just brings energy to you. It does. You, you know, like it makes you think like, oh, it's a beautiful day. Right. And you relax. You know what I mean? Yes, but it's yes. really hard to get that even on nice days in New York because yeah. the, you only get slivers of sunshine unless you're out in the park. But if you go to the park, even that's like chaotic. And yeah, there's and too many damn people because everybody's trying to get their vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, girl, I'm going to go find some other D somewhere else. Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all going to took up all the damn D. <laughs> Have you heard of that um, new party in the Central Park? No. It's like once, once a month. Is it for the gays? Yes. Oh, my God, what? It's for everybody, but it's like a gay festivity. No, what is it called? Oh, I've got to look it up. It's oh. on Facebook. Oh, really? But it's like called like once a month gathering or something. Oh. But it's fun. Everyone gets together. You can bring your speaker and play Mariah. Oh, shut up. Is it in the big field? Or yeah, the, in um, Sheep's Meadow. Yeah, Sheep's Meadow. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. I would go to that. Well, we, can, we should take a Mariah stand. Yeah, we should. Be the Mariah people. Yeah. You can go take whatever. You can do whatever you want. We should sell them some merchandise. Yes. Is that okay to do in the park? Why not? <laughs> On the low. Do you need a license for that? <laughs> I don't People know. sell everything up in New York, though. Yeah, you can get whatever. I mean, I know back in the day it used to be even like more like bootleg, bootleggy, shit. like everywhere. Now it's a little bit more sophisticated. Yeah, or on the down low, uh-huh. you got to know where to go. I know, right? Anyways, we are going to talk. We ha- don't have that many moments, but we're just like the people want the moments. They want to hear just the moments. So we're holding back in time for a moment. Just to give you more moments. Well, I think we just just stay up to date because stuff like business stuff's happening. Well, true, Mariah-wise. but nothing big is happening. No, but exciting that the people need to know about. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just letting the folks know. That's why. <laughs> well, can we can we start where we left off last week? So you know, you know how it was a met ball. Uh huh. Well, there's a cute little like word on the street. Yes. Afterwards, that Justin Thoreau, who's um, Jennifer Aniston's ex husband now. Wait, they're ex-husbands? Yeah, they brought, they, they're done. Yes, I knew that, but they had officially got married? Yes. Girl, where was I? Did they? I don't know. She married him. Oh, I didn't know. I feel like I would have saw wedding photos. I think no one cared. 
Oh, well, probably. Because it went on for so long. D- I know, right? But am I making that up? No. Oh, I think they got married. Either way, they are broken up now. Yeah. And there were no children involved, so whatever. Yeah. See, but I, don't, I didn't even know who he was. Oh, see, I, like, so I saw him in Mulholland Drive. Oh, I yeah. saw that movie. He's in that. He has oh, big, I would never know. He has those big, thick reading glasses. Oh. Then I've seen his work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he's in Sex and the City. Oh, I've definitely seen his work. What, what was he in Sex and the City? He was like two characters in it. Shut up. Yeah, he was like in, I think like season one or two, and then he was like a boyfriend later on. But like different people. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. I'm going to have to Google that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was at the Met Ball. At the Met Ball. And they had the party on the inside, right? Is that where? I think so. Okay. They were only, I think they were only inside. Okay, but I'm Met. thinking like, was it an after party somewhere? <gasps> oh, I don't know. Oh. But anyway, apparently word on the street was Justin's dancing to Heartbreaker all by himself. Hey. It's a jam. It is a jam. In the club. Everybody loves yes. it. Especially these days, it sounds better in the club. Oh my God. That song is so good. Good, uh, right? It's it is my, so good. It's one of my favorite, like, I request it now in the club. Oh, yeah. And people will play it because people do love it. Yeah. Um, oh, I got a... T- oh, <clears throat> speaking of that, I got a text from a friend last night who was out running the streets yeah. here in New York, and he was at a little old gay bar, yeah. and he said that they had just played... Um, when You Believe by Mariah and Whitney up in the club. Shut up. And the whole club was singing. The ballad version? The, yes. Is there another? There's that club mix, that mysterious club okay, mix. Okay, but I think it was the regular version because he probably... It, really? Yeah, I don't know. That's He's not a Mariah fan, so he's uh-huh. just like, that Mariah Whitney song, everybody was singing it. That's funny. My friends text me too when they're oh, Mariah's every time. They're like, every time. just to update me. <laughs> they're playing the Mariah. Because you know, if like weeks down the road, uh-huh. they say, oh, they pl-, I would be like, bitch, why didn't you tell me? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't care if it was 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Oh that's exciting Yeah I was like Oh that's a rarity To find that In the in the gay bars Yeah um, Even the remix Cause they You know The people will always play You know The classics Yes yes Rise Bar will play Some old ones That are not as um, popular, popular But everyone loves them Yes They played Almost Home At the Rise Bar Yes they I We love, always talk about Rise always, every week I know yeah. Girl they should be Sponsoring us <laughs> We're just sitting In all the gays there Cause they play All the good songs They do They know They do Yeah um, I remember Like before we started Going to Rise All the time Yeah Every time that I walked in there Which was maybe once Every three or four months Me too yeah They would always Be playing Almost Home Oh When I walked in Really? Yes every time At least three or four times Interesting And I was like Girl This is crazy That's why I started Going there so much Cause I'm Me like, too. almost home yes. Get out of here I know Cause you know yeah. You get a Mariah song You're at least one During your <laughs> and, you during, don't, yes. and you don't have to Harass the DJ exactly. for it <laughs> Yes During your drink yes. During your first drink Uh huh <laughs> Yes And we love that And you know that For sure gonna play Mariah's new music Oh for sure Yeah I can't wait. I know. I'm it's like, going to be so good. I'm almost like almost stopped listening to her old stuff because I'm just like ready for new stuff now. Yeah. I'm making space. Yeah. You're like, you're just like, okay, let me just Cl- like reset for a moment. Uh huh. Because, you know, although I feel like other than Kylie Minogue, there's really no good music out right now. And, you know, yeah. that new Ariana song's fine. It's cute. It's cute. I'm over it now, though. It only took me a week I'm or not, two. Yeah. See, I'm not jam- I'm not like busting but anything. Did, well, they did that Jimmy um, Fallon thing. Um, uh, Ariana and Jimmy oh, the, with the, the instruments. The toys. Yeah. The toy room thing. It was good. Oh, it was good. It was really good. All right. Maybe I'll check it out. Sounds like, all right, girl. Um, but we got the new Christina music and that's doing nothing for me. I haven't even heard it. D- you don't need to. And then just to, today on Wendy, she had some pop guy saying, she's giving me Kesha vibes. And I was like, that's what I said. Hello. Um, yeah, there's, I think Mariah is going to be the next like big name to really drop something. Cause it's so, the landscape is so yeah. stale. Like we're, we're like sort of like on a silent hiatus, Yeah, but that's okay. Cause it's going to make this perfect timing. Yeah. All better. And like Ariana's out of the way. So there's not gonna be a competition. Right. What's Jayla doing? Nothing. Nothing. It's perfect time to like do something. Do you know, I have no idea what JLo is doing. She's in Vegas. I don't she's think gonna, she's in Vegas. She's going to be the way Mariah's there. I secretly might go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check the last I'm one. sure it would be a good show. She puts a good show on. I'm not mad at her. No, I'm not mad at her either. No. I am excited for the Billboard Music Awards, though. When's Janet. That? Oh, that Janet. Is yes, on yes. 
this weekend, coming up this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's Janet's exciting. gonna be there. That's exciting. Christina is performing. Okay, we'll see what she can give us because if that bitch is screaming, because you know she loves to scream, uh-huh. I'm just gonna flip the channel or like press stop on YouTube because you know I'm not watching that shit live. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um. And Kelly Clarkson is hosting, and you know I love her. Oh, that's cute. It is cute. Do you think Mariah will be there? No. No. Why? Just to show her face? I don't know, but they have a commercial. Or, or I don't know what it was, but someone had posted it to our social media or something. Mm. Um, but I didn't get a chance to watch. Um, um, there's a commercial about some of the most iconic Billboard speeches, Billboard Music Awards speeches. Oh, yeah. And obviously Mariah's in there. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, because, good, you know, we all know... That speech. That speech. It's the best. Ever. Ever. Name me a better s- Name speech. Name me some other, I mean, in the music world, because you know that Oprah speech at the Golden Globes was really that good. That was good, good. <laughs> but it's up there with that. Yeah. But you know, but they're two totally different categories, yes, too. Yes, yes. So, like, you know, <laughs> like, you give me someone winning a Grammy who has a better speech than Mariah's 1999 Artist of the Decade, Decade Billboard Music Award. I know. Show show me. A quotable speech. Please. Yes. <laughs> please. I dare them to. There isn't one. There never will be one. No. By anybody. No. It's so good. I know. It is the best. Who won the last Decade Award? From like 2000, 2010? Yeah. I almost want to say it was Eminem. He did? I, I don't know. I'd have to get on a Google. If we had a production assistant, we'd tell them to do it right now. But I think it could have been. Oh, okay. But Mariah won Billboard Magazine's Song of the Decade for 90s and 2010s. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. 2000s. What do we call it? 2005. The Naughties. The Naughts. The Naughts? Naughties. Naughties? Like Naught. Zero, one, zero, two, zero, three. Oh, really? Yes. So you got the 90s into the noughties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the 2000s. Okay. I would call it the 2000s. The early 2000s. But, and the then, one. like, we're in the 2010s now, right? Yeah, the 2010s. 2010. Girl, don't get me with numbers. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so we know Mariah won that in the noughties. Yes. <laughs> You know the number naught? It's a naught. Zero. No. I, it sounds like it's like something you would know if you were like a sailor. I don't think it's not or nautical. Like a nautical? <laughs> it's not a nautical. Like a, uh, no? I, no, I've never heard of that. But I went to public school on the <laughs> south side of Chicago in the 80s and <laughs> 90s. So they don't teach you that, girl. <laughs> I got axed off the curriculum. <laughs> uh, honey, I don't think it was ever on the curriculum. They're like, um, let's just all sit in a classroom together and fight with each other. <laughs> and watch Grease on VHS. Girl, we didn't get Grease. Oh, you didn't get Grease? Girl, you couldn't. You, we didn't even have TVs. <laughs> so I was in high school. Every time it fucking rained at school, they played Grease. Are you? Serious? Yeah, it was so annoying. Girl, no, oh no, I'm. I couldn't even tell you a movie we watched. <laughs> I couldn't. I'm sure we did, but nothing that was memorable. I was probably sleeping. <laughs> I probably was. Uh, anyway, uh, anyways, back to the list. Back to Mariah and our <laughs> list of moments. <laughs> Um. Uh, okay, so that was the Met Ball. That was great. I wanted to mention, though, that um, we had a lamb. Because um, we're like, oh, why is Mariah never at the Met Ball? Yes, What's going yes, yes. on? Yeah. Like, you know, she's a big enough name. But then you were like, no, she she's too big. But I was like, bitch, everybody there is big. Uh-huh. Um, it's just not her wheelhouse. And one of our um, Instagram followers, Tim Richard. Richard oh, yeah. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. He says, rumor has it years ago, designers stopped lending Mariah outfits because she always cuts them and alters the waist to make it tighter or shorter. Uh I can see designers tired of lending her stuff. So that's why she doesn't go to the Met Gala. Uh And, you know, once he says that, I I read that and I was like, "Uh sense. And I would have never thought about that. Because if you look, whenever like someone does a, oh, she wore this dress and you see the dress, it's always different. 
the original. It's always, it's, it, well, not always, but most but, often. Yeah. Because what instantly comes to mind to me. The boobs have to be lower. Yeah. The, the neckline has to be down to the girls. <laughs> yes. And it, the hemline has to be all the way up. Uh-huh. And it's just like, it reminds me of when Mariah wore that dress to the World Music Awards to perform a Meteorite. Meteorite. Yeah. She wore that black dress that was super cute. I don't know who the designer is. Yeah. Um, but Beyonce wore that same dress at some point that same year. Yeah. I don't know if it was before or after. They both looked be- beautiful in it. But you can see how Mariah altered that dress. Mm. Like, it is a completely different dress. Mm-hmm. And maybe it makes sense that that's why they don't dress Lend. her for things. Well, I'm sure she paid for it. They're going to alter it. Whoever she wants but They're not going to lend her the dress Exactly Exactly Because those Met Gala things They're lent They're borrowed Right Oh uh-huh. of course And then they're going to go off Into some costume and Recycle it You know yeah. Thing and blah 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 Yeah Yeah no it, I mean it makes total sense Since he says that Yeah So I get it Yeah It's not like she doesn't have the money to go Because you know you have to pay to go to that I Like know. it's a fundraiser Yes yes Yeah I don't know I'm not down for Mariah being there I mean uh, I don't think anyone's missing her there, but I think it would just be good to see her there mingling outside of her group, like I said last week. I'd be down if she had, like, a really interesting date. Like, Sharon Stone. Like, someone interesting. Okay, you know what okay. I mean? She went with someone. Okay. I could see that. Like, who, which, who could be her date? I don't know. Does it have to be a man or a woman? Anybody. It could be anyone? I don't know. I would think it would be a designer. Ooh. Well, because that's how they sometimes they always pair up. They take the designers, yeah. Right? Because then they get their red carpet moment, and then they get, you know, written up on Vogue, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see, see because I, Mariah's doing all these other things. It's almost like the Super Bowl. I can't imagine what Mariah would do. So, uh, right. right now, I'm so just, like, like, just like, don't go. Doesn't, she doesn't, but I, don't, I just would love to see her in that field. That's it. It, it requires a lot of gaze. To get it together She needs more gaze on her team (laughs) Okay so let's talk about This other little bit of news Um, uh, Speaking of Mariah going in Vegas And now she's got the tours Overseas and things But she signed an exclusive deal With Live Nation Big Big, which is really big, but I I read the press release and I didn't see any specifics. No, okay, no, which I like. Do you know why? Why? Because I was sick of like back in the day, and um, this this all I started paying attention attention to it when glitter happened the EMI contract. Uh huh. When you start like throwing out those numbers and telling everybody your business, then they start holding you accountable to that. Oh. So I'm I happy. See. Yeah. Don't tell me how much it costs or how much you got or how many shows or what it's going to involve. Yeah. Keep it a secret. Okay, I'm um, down with that. Yeah. But I was just thinking, well, I'm wondering, are these <clears throat> shows outside of what we already know? Is this going to be like a traditional tour? Is this going to be more Vegas moments? Oh. Like, that's what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for, like, f- numbers and figures like that. I was just thinking, okay, well, what, what is, is this, it? What does this entail? I think it's just ongoing. Because Live Nation sort of has this big thing. Yeah. Like, they, they do a lot. Yeah. It's not just a tour, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole... It's a whole thing. Thing. They, they are... Aren't they like a record company too? Distributors? I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure, but Live Nation takes... A, I mean, it really is a huge thing. It takes over a lot. Does that mean Butterfly MC Records is dead? <laughs> Honey, you know we were saying <laughs> that that thing was only there for some sort of filtering money through or something. <laughs> yeah. Or allegedly, like allegedly, allegedly <laughs> or like holding on to some sort of like more royalties or something. Who who knows? Uh-huh. We will probably never see or hear of that again, which I would not be mad about because no. number one, Burn it down. the name was not that great. No. Like come on, Butterfly MC record. That's a Wi Fi password. That, yeah. <laughs> That's a Wi Fi password. <laughs> I'm sure someone was like, uh oh. Or your Gmail yes. password. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> because I might know or have a couple <laughs> very similar. <I> know. <laughs> it's a Wi Fi password. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're not lying. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, we'll never see anything from that ever again. Nothing happened from that anyway. No, nothing at Just all. Just that dumb party at a Nothing at all. Or whatever. Um, 
so we're I'm excited to see what happens with Live Nation. I'm sure it w- it's going to be a few years before it really starts rolling out. Yeah. So I think that's something that we have to keep like a long term look on. on. Well, I'm hoping my hope and dreams for it is no more bed sheets and video clips from YouTube. Oof, girl, that's all I'm asking. You know, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Mariah's going to come correct. (laughs) She's going to come correct (laughs) this time around because the production value of her tours are just really not right. Not right. Not not right. right. No. And it's okay. I forgive all of it because it was a nightmare era and things were being changed and she was going through some issues with some people around her. Yeah. So it's okay. (laughs) Yeah. Who didn't, unprofessional people. Unprofessional people. Yeah. You just throw a bed sheet up and play YouTube. Yes. Like, come on. Uh huh. So, yes, I'm sure Live Nation won't be producing anything (laughs) with a bed sheet and, you know. But we're talking about the Sweet Sweet Fantasy Tour. Yeah. And. Everything after that, too. Even though you know I love the Sweet Sweet Fantasy Tour. Yes, yes. was great. Her yes. voice was great. She looked good. And it was definitely better than the, uh, what you call Chanteuse it, tour. tour. The Chanteuse No, well, the Chanteuse Tour was okay. Um, which tour? The uh, uh, Memoirs memoir. Tour, <laughs> which was the most bootleg production <laughs> ever. Who produced that one? I don't know who produced it, but Judgment. I know that Debbie Allen, like, had a heavy hand in it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But she hasn't worked with Deb- Debbie. Because, you know, Debbie Allen did the Butterfly Tour. Yeah. That was um, cute. You know, that was cute. And she's done a bunch of other things with Mariah as well. Have um, you seen... But she hasn't been with her for a minute. Have you seen clips of Shania Twain's tour? No, I have not. But I saw clips of Taylor Swift's. Shania is, I want to say, like, is in the boat of Mariah. Like, not actively having hit albums right now, you know, long-term, long-term artists. She tried. It just was not a good album. That tour, she's got full, like, box screens that move and connect. Really? And she is like... And Shania doesn't even dance. No. No. Yeah. Shania's sitting in a guitar case and it goes up and swings around the audience with her in it singing. You better shut your face. I'm like, why can't Mariah just sit in something and just, like, zoom around the audience? That's what Live Nation is going to do for her. Why shouldn't I do There's the going to be money put into the production yeah. of these shows. Well, you know which that shit. We probably don't even know what they are yet. Yeah, all that shit's rented. Oh, of course. They got the Live Nation has. I know, but you know, oh, I'm telling maybe that's what's really going to be driving. Mm-hmm. And then you know she's going to have to tour with the new album. Yeah. Like maybe what she has now, like the Vegas, the Butterfly Returns, and then whatever she's doing in Australia and the Asian countries, maybe. That's just warming her up for like a real legit tour with Shut a new up. album. Don't. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I'm getting excited. But it will be real exciting if Live Nation is producing it and funding it. Yeah. Because that's what it means. Like, because you know, when you have do these things, you have to pay for them. Yes. You know, like I was, um, so like this is coming out of Mariah's pocket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for someone who doesn't have a hit album or a hit song right now, mm. that's a lot of money mm-hmm. f- with no guarantee you're going to recoup any of it. Mm-hmm. So that's why, you know, I understand why Mariah's got a bed sheet up. Uh-huh. Um, but you th- you would think with some of these ticket prices she is charging that she would, you have know what I'm bed just sheet. saying. Yes, I know. But that's, um, the, that's the complaint. So like the bed sheet was up and we paid 80 bucks for the ticket. Right. Well, the bed sheet was up and I paid 900 for this uh-huh. ticket. Like, get yes. out of here. Yes. And you gave me a, a plastic laminate. What the yeah. fuck? That doesn't get me backstage. What the fuck am I going to do with this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But I, I was, uh, you know, Coachella had just passed a couple weeks ago, a month ago, whenever. But like. Cardi B was saying that, like, you know, they had booked her for her thing, but she really hadn't, her album hadn't come out. She Mm. only had that one, at the time, minor hit. Like, it was booked, like, a year in advance. Right. And she was like, I needed to take out a personal loan to, like, put money in it so they could build a fucking set for me. Uh, Like, I didn't, like, I did all of that on my own, honey. uh Uh-huh. And so, like, that's what everybody does. Yeah. So, like, I think signing with Live Nation is going to give Mariah the money, the funding that she needs to really put on a great show. And the access. And the access. To the the equipment. The access and Uh the same thing. Like, I think, I think Rock Nation helped mastermind this deal with Live Nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. 
Of course they did. So I think, again, here's something, whether it's Melissa or someone else on Mariah's team or maybe someone on the Rock Nation team. Yeah. They're doing good things because that woman would have never. Oh, please. Never. Never. She never. doesn't have the phone number to Live Nation. It doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. No. Don't get me started. We're going to. Moving on. <laughs> I could get real heated. <laughs> She would have called like the cheapest boot. She did the Grassy Knoll tour. Exactly the most bootleg person. The available. more money in her pocket. Uh huh. Get ooh, get me off this topic. <laughs> um, okay, so Live Nation is great. We um, want to talk about before we move on to um, something totally different. Wait, wait, wait. Do we know if Live Nation is doing Vegas? The Butterfly Returns? I don't think so. They could be. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it has anything to do with the shows that are set right now. Or it could be. Where did I get my tickets when I bought them? Shit, now I'm forgetting. Uh, no, I think AXS. Are they still doing that? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Or is oh, wait. It, I think this time around it's going through Ticketmaster. It was Ticketmaster, yes. Yeah, I don't was, think Live Nation. So I think the Live Nation things will come for future shows. Uh huh. Which would be like rap. the real tour for the new album. Woo. You know what I mean? Um, but before we move on from like her live performances in Vegas and things, let's talk quickly because I mentioned this uh, when she announced the Butterfly Returns. Yeah. I want the poker machines. Yeah. I want the poker, the Mariah Carey poker machines. And they're coming. Must be there. And they are coming. Officially. Because the, the website who makes a lot of poker machines finally put up um, a Mariah page. Yes. Showing it. The machine. And a little video. Yes. Uh-huh. They didn't say when it's coming, mm-hmm. where it will be located. But this uh, manufacturer, they have them in all the Las Vegas casinos and right. in other casinos around the, the nation. Yeah, I'm sure for sh- definitely in Caesars. Definitely. Somewhere. Definitely. For sure. So we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing it come, come up soon. Yeah. That's exciting. So, again, keep a lookout for those. Lambs um, who are going that opening week or oh, yeah. there before, please let us know. Email us. Um, Pictures. MariahReport yes. at gmail.com or social media, Mariah Report, all that jazz. I'm going to give it a whirl. Put a dollar in. Oh, I'm putting what? more. I'm, honey, I, I got a bucket full of change at home. Uh-huh. I'm going to put, oh, you don't put change in the machine. I don't anymore. think you can. Now. I don't think you can. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's old right. Days. You got you to, gotta, like, put, like, Bills. Money in it, yeah, yeah, like bills, and then it shoots you out of receipt. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, we actually won and got our money back? All Could the money we gave imagine? to Mariah. Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be crazy. I would die. Break even. I would. Oh die. my god, we'd be having like a little party right there next to the Mariah machine. <laughs> yeah. Girl, it would be a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I just want all my money back. I spent a Mariah. Let's spend it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a little splash break, but we're going to come back and we're going to talk about Mariah spending Mother's Day. I also want to talk about Wendy Williams had a very interesting guest. Yeah, Talia was on. Yes, and we want to talk about that. Yeah. Um, so we will be uh, yeah. right back. Do you know that we have a merchandise store? Go to MariahReportStore.com where you can find our exclusive range of t-shirts, mugs, tote bags, and more. Most importantly, every purchase made helps support the show and the artists that create it. So go to www.MariahReportStore.com and get yourself something nice. And we are back. So, this week, something interesting happened Yes, on Wendy Williams. I know. You know I always watch my Wendy on YouTube at night before I go to bed. Oh, it's my morning routine. Oh, well, I, I don't get up early enough oh. for Wendy, and I don't have regular TV, so, I, you know, I can't, like, turn around. Oh, no, I would I'd get my coffee, my toast, Wendy, 20 minutes, gotta go. Your co- toast with Vegemite. I don't... You're not I a like Vegemite? Vegemite. I don't have any on me, actually, and I do need some. <laughs> So if anyone's coming over from Australia, please <laughs> bring me some Vegemite. Have you ever had Vegemite? I have. Didn't I make you eat it once? I think you did. I think you did. But I also maybe had it another time after that. Someone put it on some toast for me. You got to put it on toast with butter. Yes. We know. I learned. I watched the butterfly tour. She didn't. Oh, but she didn't do it. She ate it wrong. Oh. On the butterfly tour. And that's what the girl told her. And then she did it again on the triumphant tour. Because she ate it with a cracker. No, she oh, she ate it with a spoon. spoon on the. You don't do that. Tour. No, you can't just eat it straight. 
No. Because it tastes like... It's not like Nutella or no, jam. No, you'll vomit. Yeah. And you only need a little bit, right? Thin. And you need the, bu- thin. the butter to, like, dilute it. What is it again? Fermented something or another? Yeast extract. It's like the leftover stuff from the beer. Uh, it's very healthy. It's like okay. a concentrated Guinness. Okay, that makes me not as gag worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Without the alcohol. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe that's for another time. Anyway, but back to Wendy. Back to Wendy. So Talia was on. I know. And I've never seen her speak. Well, that's the thing. Me neither. Now, if you obviously, if you're listening, you probably know who Talia is. She is Tommy Matola's current wife. And yeah. they have two young kids together. Of like 20 years. When she said, okay, so Wendy had her on the show yeah, to promote something again that I had no idea this was. I thought this woman was sitting at home. Doing twiddling her thumbs. Twiddling yeah. her thumbs, you know, brushing her like, hair or something. Luxuriating. Luxuriating. Yes. Like I would be money. doing, honey. Yes. Honey. <laughs> oh, I'd be sitting at home yes. in the luxury. <laughs> no, she's out there working, doing things. I don't follow her because I don't know or care, but... <laughs> when well, I saw I'm, her on Wendy, I got excited. I was like, oh my God. What's she up to? That's going to be good. Yeah. Because you know Wendy's going to ask. Yes. Although I don't think she went as far as she could have. She should have asked more. I wanted more. Well, I feel like there was not much more for... Because Talia doesn't know Mariah. Exactly. So it's like, what is she going to say? It was so long afterwards. But Anyways. she mentioned like they met when they had just got divorced. Right. Okay. So yeah. Tommy Matola and... Talia. Uh, Talia. Yeah. Met in 1998 and yeah. got married. Was it that early? Yes. Honey, Straight away. He was fresh off the divorce. Well, listen, do you know what? Because you know they didn't yes. get divorced until like a year or two later. I know. But then, so the Talia, they had, and Tommy, they had candid photos on Wendy. And I was like, what the charm bracelet tour is going on? I didn't. Candid, re- like, I, that candid didn't... Mariah moments. Like, she looked like Mariah. In, I don't think I saw those. They were in the background. I must not have been paying attention. Oh, my God. Ca- like, Candid to Leah? I remember seeing the wedding picture. No, it was like Candid pictures of, like, her in the mountains in Aspen. Oh, I'd have to look closer then she next time. She had full Mariah hair. She really? Had glasses on. I, you could swear it was Mariah. Tommy really? did a straight up copy and paste. Well, that, does, that doesn't surprise me. I know. I mean, come on. Like he just replaced Mariah with Talia. And I they're know. the same person. And, and <laughs> the other thing that I didn't know is that they were they were uh, basically introduced to each other via... Gloria Estefan. I mean, oh my God. Isn't that random? Isn't that random? Because you, can, you remember all those 90s photos of like when Mariah would go to the Grammys. Yeah. Or even Divas Live where Mariah and Gloria would be sitting at the same table. Yeah. Uh, or like they're like they were buddies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, it's so crazy to think like how did that go down? But was Gloria on the label too? Maybe Tommy was the boss. Oh, probably. Yeah. I don't remember what she was on, but probably most likely. Well, well, but also maybe Gloria didn't work closely with Tommy, so there's no beef. Oh, I'm sure there is no beef. I'm just saying Between it's them. like really like ooh, y'all are really in Incestuous. the mix together. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Talia seems nice. Like a nice lady. Right. She seems fine. Yeah. No, I've never seen her speak. I yeah. think she's a very beautiful woman. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's got to be in her 80s. Probably. And she looks like she's 30. Yeah. She looks really good. Uh-huh. I mean, I sh- dare I say she looked better than Beyonce or J-Lo. Yeah. Not as better as Mariah, because Mariah looks damn good, uh-huh. especially right now. Yeah, she looks good now. But she's a cute girl. To me... Talia had too much energy that was seemed ungenuine. Mm. But she's, I'm sure she's nice. Yeah. But other than her and how beautiful she is, I really wasn't interested in anything she had to say other than anything related to Mariah, which was uh-huh. the divorce, uh-huh. the marriage, uh-huh. 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 and 20 years, 20, 1998. Yeah. Damn. I know, right? Right? And then I was also shocked and surprised that. She's a producer of the Donna Summer musical. I know. I would have never in a million years. Which I want to see. It looks good. I, yeah, me too. Yeah. I was like, what? That seems so strange. The girl doing Donna Summer looks like a good impersonation of her. I well. haven't I haven't looked too closely at it, but it seems like that. But Mariah needs a show like that. A Mariah on show. Broadway. Oh, produced. Produced by Mariah? Well, she should get her hand in the producing thing, but she needs a show about her. Oh, that glitters. Well, yes. I keep saying. (laughs) 
But how do we turn the All That Glitters script into a musical? We would need a professional for that. No. Oh, oh you're going to write the you're going to write the book. <laughs> you're going to write you're oh you're going to all this uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber right here who knew. <laughs> no, 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 you don't need it doesn't need to be a musical because I saw the um I saw a musical about Carol King. No, it's about these three singers. You know all their songs. Something Temptations, Supremes. Maybe the Temptations. Boys. She, I've got the playbill somewhere. Anyway, it's about a, a trio before the Supremes. Okay. You know the hits? Jersey Boys? Uh, no, no, it's three, three black girls. Um, three black... The, the Supremes? Song, no, no, the song about, like... Shoot Mama taught me... Mama, Mama, Mama said there'd be days like Mama this. Mama said, Mama said... No, no, no. No. Mama said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this. This, that. There'd be days like this. Uh-huh, Mama that's said. A, that. Okay, but I don't know who that is. It didn't last long, but it was like their story and the music fell in when they were performing. Like it fell into the storyline. It wasn't a musical. Do you know what I mean? Okay. But I think that makes it a musical. But you can do that with all that glitters. Like the music can be part of the performances throughout the story. Well, yeah, but you're going to need like new music. Mariah you can bang that shit out. All right. Well, then we got to get her on on board. On her own project. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That she already wrote. I know. It's it's funny how that works. Anyways. I um, bet she can do it real easy. Oh, I bet she I bet she she has it lying around already. I'm sure this has definitely crossed her mind. I bet she has original All That Glitters music lying around. Of course she does. Other than Heartbreaker. Of course she does. Because Heartbreaker was originally for All That Glitters. Well, yeah. Can we bring that back out? <laughs> Why do we keep whispering? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us in the studio, cat. I don't think she speaks English, though. <laughs> I think she's foreign. <laughs> All that glitters will be a Broadway hit. I think so, too. I think they can, like, totally make it happen. And it will totally, like, redeem Mariah's cred. Yeah. Because they'll go, oh, this is a good story. I, I mean, it is. And then she's like, "This was supposed it to is. be the movie." There's so many things, so yes. many things. But I'm telling you, Mark, we gotta, we gotta get into that. We got other fish to fry. We got, <laughs> we have other fish to fry. But that's definitely there. Um, Do you like how we went from Tilia to all that glitters? Somehow? I know. How did that? <laughs> random. Thanks, Gloria, <laughs> Stefan. Thanks, <laughs> bringing us all over the place. Anyways, I like that Talia was there. It was nice to see her actually doing things and. Many well wishes to her. It seems like she cares about Tommy. Yeah, I'm it, 20 it, years and two kids. Yes, uh huh. Thank God Mariah didn't have no damn kids with him. Yeah. Thank God. But Mariah knew though. She was like, this is, she had to know in the back of her head that she was only doing this because she didn't know what else to do. Right. You know what I mean? Not like, not opportunistic wise. I think she just I fell think into so. it. I exact I think she yeah. fell into it. Uh-huh. I think she was really blinded. She didn't she I feel young. like she didn't know. She was so young. You know, when you come yeah. from a background like that and there's somebody like older who does wanna help you, yeah. you go along with it. Uh-huh. Not because Oh, I'm going to take advantage of this person. Yeah. But it's because they can help you, not just in your career, but just in life. Yeah. He can teach you and show you the finer things, not necessarily the finer things. Yeah. There's more civilized life. Yes. Uh Because, you know, Mariah didn't come from what we know from civilization. I'm telling you, when I read that um, unauthorized biography on Mariah and like when I got to the Tommy Mariah part, I was like, oh, I kind of get it. Yeah. I mean, it was was not a good good thing. Good and bad. They, they, the, it was too business and pleasure. Yeah. And so it was never going to work. And I think Mariah, right. in the back of her mind, had to know that. And she was just she too could young. not see spending the rest of her life with that man. Yeah, no. Well, she would have been Talia. Exactly. On, but, the, on the Wendy couch. <laughs> on, it, right. Anyway, so we like that. Um, we also want to talk very quickly because um, we have an obsessed um, for this week, which is great. But let's quickly talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And Mariah um, um, giving a shout out to the the 28th anniversary of Vision of Love, Mm. which just uh, was this past week. So let's start with Mother's Day. She looked great. Skinny as hell. Gorgeous. Uh Uh-huh. You know she is gearing up for something big. Big. And she's excited. She is excited. They went out to dinner with um, Brian, the kids, and Brian's mom. And Brian's mom. And Brian's mom, because you saw the bitch way in the background. Yes. She was sort of covered up, but what she was there. What do you think there. she's thinking? You know, I don't know. I was thinking this. 
<laughs> because Mariah's had dinner with Brian's mom before, yeah. like a couple of times. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there thinking, <laughs> when you're at the dinner table and you're like Brian's mom. Who's there's like, your son. There's your son. Like, you know, whatever. Like, hey. And he's dating a world superstar <laughs> icon that yeah. you know you listen to her music. Yeah. What do y'all talk about? Uh-huh. Like, what do you say? Yeah. Oh, my God. What do you say? Like, you know, because like sometimes when you're in those situations, when you're talking with in-laws or yeah, people yeah, yeah. you've just met or friends of friends, it's always the same sort of like, oh, well, what do you do? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where do you work? Uh-huh. Where do you live? Yeah, yeah, what do yeah, you do? Yeah. When you already know all of that about somebody, yeah. what do you say? What is the small talk that you make? Maybe you just sit, I would just sit there and smile at Mariah. I would have been like, girl, <laughs> like, do you think she, the, you think Mariah is like, hey, so I was like jotting down these new lyrics the other day. What, what do, do you, you think? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's what I think she, Mariah would be talking about. Like, what do you talk about? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm sure they talk about everything. I just it's hard for me to imagine. You know what I mean? She's probably just starstruck. She yeah. Looks, she looks like she's from like a regular she's regular old town mom, whatever. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Brian Tanaka also has a younger brother. Yeah. Yeah. And a dog. And a dog. <laughs> yes, I'll be seeing on the Insta stories. He'd be... The bulldog? With the damn bo- dog. I get nervous around bulldogs. I don't. And the kids. I don't. There was... Oh. Um, I had a traumatic experience. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We had this big, you huge... Atta- I wasn't attacked. We had okay. this big, huge dog living in the, in the building here, upstairs. And um, we used to have a little dog, Jake, a little miniature pincher, like almost like a chihu- like a big chihuahua, small but like chunky. Anyway, so well, the, this bulldog was like always a bit edgy and like strange. And I think it was a rescue too, so it was traumatized. So one day I was walking out the front, the bulldog was walking in with the owner. It was like a mixed bulldog. Anyway, so I picked up Jake in my hands. Uh-huh. Like carried him up because I was like, "Excuse me," like, "Hey, what's up?" I was like, "Hey, how you doing?" Like chatting real quick to the the owner. The dog like looked and then just like lunged <gasps> and snatched the dog out of my hand, shook him no! around, and like slammed him on the ground. Like in a flash, I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" Anyway, so Jake's like, uh, 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 like all spazzed out. The owner's screaming. There's blood shooting <gasps> everywhere. This other neighbor was, the neighbor was there walking out with his dog. And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, like, he starts freaking out and ran away. <laughs> so now I never looked at him the same way. I'm like, bitch, you ran away. <laughs> Girl, what? Yeah. And this was my friend. So we, like, literally Googled on the phone real quick, 24-hour vet. I, like, snatched the dog up, like, holding the, the wound with my hand. Get out of here. Yeah, we, like, jump in a cab and go to the vet. It was, like, Did the dog survive? Yeah, he lived. Did you all judge Judy that person? No, they like knocked on the door and paid straight oh, up. Oh, okay, good. Uh huh. They paid oh, all the checks. Thank goodness. Yeah. That would never happen in America. That was you good. Would, you would never see those people again. I know, <laughs> right? Until judge Judy <laughs> called them. Yeah. Um, oh my God, that is traumatic. I know. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Oh Lord. And because the dog was cute, like he would look and like when I was alone, but like in the lobby or whatever, and see the dog, he was like kind of friendly. But I was always like, mm, hey. Well, you saw that there was a, a viral oh, and that video. Dog, oh, then that dog went and bit another neighbor, like bit his leg. Oh no! Like a chunk of his leg. Off. Oh no! Th- no! Oh no! And then no. they got evicted. Like the whole mess. Oh, see, that's you uh-huh. gotta put. No, something's wrong with that. They dog. weren't listening to the whispers. Something is wrong with that dog. Uh huh. Yeah, because that's not going to bring anything good into your life. Uh huh. Um, because there was this viral video that just went around of a pit bull attacking someone on the subway the other day. I saw that. You saw that? Yeah, it was like that size dog too. Oh my god! Yeah. Yikes. I should watch that video. Maybe it was that. It probably was. Same dogs. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit. They, they can be, yeah, but I don't know. Like I, it's like it's that thing. Like it's in them, but it doesn't have. Like they don't have to. You know what I mean? It's like herpes. Like you got it, but like it doesn't always come out. <laughs> Not that I. Have it, but you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like people can have it, but like it doesn't show. Uh-huh. I don't know. Um, it's just like crazy. I just get nervous around Rocky and Roe. They have one wrong move and they can like trigger the dog. I guess. I don't know. I never worry about those things. Oh, see, I'm right. I, well, yeah, because you had trauma. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, Mother's anyways, Day. So Mother's Day was great. Mariah looked good. The kids were very fashionable. Yeah. Um, they're just growing up so fast. I think it looked like Monroe had lost a tooth. I know. But they, we know we already knew like Rocky lost a tooth. Like they've been toothless for a minute. Yeah, I know. You know, um, I was listening to Supernatural. And little Walkie. 
I know when they could barely talk. I know. And now they're like all running around. And then Mariah had said something um, in a newspaper article the other day about them doing chores. Yeah. And how like Rocky went up to Mariah and gave her like a list of all the chores he had did. Oh. And was like, I'm going to need to be paid now. <gasps> <laughs> He did not. He. That's what I have read. I have read. I don't know. But Where'd like, you read that? I, I'm like one of these, you know, somewhere. But it was more. It, it was Mariah quoted it. It like it was Mariah's quotes. Oh, that's so, cute. So you but know, I don't know the source. Good luck to him. Good. Yeah. I wish all them the best. Do we know what chores he had to do? No. I don't know. It was yeah. I think it could have been like a People magazine. Like it was a legit source. Oh okay. I have to look into it. That's a cute story though. Because they were talking about. I don't know what they were talking about. But anyways, um, let's do obsessed real quick. We are uh, running out of time. All right. Time for obsessed. Okay. What we got? Okay. So this week's obsessed comes from one of our listeners, Joshua Garcia. Hey, Joshua. Hey, Joshua. A.K.A. at Trend Daddy, I think. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't know. I didn't put the two and two together. Did I? Anyways, when I heard this one, I was like, yes, girl, because this is often forgot about. Mm. He says, hey, Martin and Dan, I'm so obsessed this week with the Mariah Vibe magazine cover slash photo shoot and interview from March 2003. That was good. She looks so great in that photo shoot and that brown wig. The brown was good. Oh, my God. It was so good. I remember when this magazine first came out and I saw the photos for the first time. I was shook. Oh, my God. And he also goes on to say, I also love when you guys went live this week over Instagram as well. Always many thanks, Lamely. That's a good one. That is a good one because I do forget about this one. But, girl, I remember the same thing. I was like, oh, my God. The brown wig. The brown wig was everything. And yeah. the photos are great. And the trench coat. And the fact that they're like, like most of the photos have like a gray or black and white monotone to them. Yeah, uh-huh. It's just like, a, it, but it's like it gives you Bianca. Yeah. But a like lot. not. I know. I loved this photo shoot. Yeah. I love this photo shoot. But um, she, looks, she looks good with the brown long hair. She really does. Yeah. She does look like a different person, though. I know, but not bad. But, like, the one in the trench coat. Uh-huh. Love this photo. Yes. She has this trench coat. She's naked underneath. The fan's blowing. Oh, my God. And then what she's laying back on the couch with the legs. Yep. Oh, everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. Everything. Because you know when she did the Bianca... On Mariah's world, it yeah. didn't look good. Mm. That wig, that like those bangs. Oh, and right, right, right. Okay, because my first vision was the when she was dressed up as Bianca during the Mariah theme party. But no, Bianca interviewing. Yes, that's the one you are thinking about, right? On Mariah's world, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't cute. Well, I feel like it was too forced. Yeah, but you this know brown I mean? hair in the Vibe magazine Oh, this looks is like so the good. best. Yeah. This is the best of all the Bianca-like hair she's ever had. So good. Like, she could do a whole era in that dark hair. I wouldn't be mad. People would be... Like, the hair within the trench coat photo... Yeah. First of all, the pose that she's giving in this trench coat photo... Uh-huh. Gives you what... Butterfly album cover. Yes. The hair is flowing. The yes. pose yes. is very similar. The yes. hands are in the same sort of gesture. Yes. Doesn't it? It does. I love it. I wouldn't be mad if she brought back the butterfly cover hair color too. That was a dark brown. That was a, a, like darker, a darker. Like a yeah. darker. I love it. I'm looking at these pictures right now. I'm obsessed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm so <laughs> obsessed. We'll post that on so Facebook. Thank you, um, Joshua, for that because I'm already gagged the again. The interview was good too. Yes. We might have to do a back in time on some of these big major magazine magazines yeah. interviews because some of them got some treats in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So keep on the lookout for more back in times. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, um, okay. okay. Another way to support the show is by writing us an iTunes review. Oh, yes. And that's for free. Yes, it yes. is. We love an <laughs> iTunes review. Yes, and it helps us with the chart system over there at Apple iTunes. Podcast review. You could do it right from your iPhone if you have an iPhone. Yeah. Just go to a little app. Five stars. Tell us what you like. Yeah. Also, you know, here's a big question I get all the time. People ask me, 
how do I find your podcast? Like, how do you find it? Because people listen to us on on YouTube or like through the uh-huh. the website or whatever. You have if you have an iPhone, you have the app. You have the Apple uh, Podcast. Yes, app. you do. Yeah, it's built in. Yeah, so just look for it. But it's like it's, it's pink. I, it says podcast. It's so shocking to me that people don't know what that icon is. I know. Well, it's a new thing. People don't know what it is. But uh, it's been around on every version of the iPhone. Every single yeah. iPhone you've ever had, it's been there, I think. No, I think it was recently glued it, in. Maybe. Like last five years. Okay, maybe five years. Yeah. Okay, maybe. But anyway, you have the app. So, so subscribe on iTunes. And on we have a, Yes, and we have a new review. Yes, we do. We read all the reviews out, too, Yes, we do. By the way. Um, so this is from Glee is Amazing, triple three. Glee is amazing. Yep. <laughs> Glee was amazing. I never got into it. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I was uh, obsessed for like the first two, three seasons, and then I then I stopped. Right after Darren Chris made his oh. appearance. But I loved him. And then that guy died and the pedophile died. <gasps> right. That whole scandal afterwards. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, because the one just died. Yeah, the pedophile. Allegedly Oh no He's convicted Yeah Yeah, he's he's going to jail Oh well that's why Honey Yeah Oh anyway sorry Anyways (laughs) We are too tangenty (laughs) Okay the review is What's wrong with us (laughs) (laughs) The review is Hey guys I heard about your podcast Through Lambs When the Butterfly series Came out Oh Oh my gosh Yeah Um, I feel like I have officially I have officially found my people As someone who has pulled Muscles defending Mariah in the past <laughs> And is finally riding the waves of this new era a Yes ma'am I wish you all the best And will eternally be a lamb and proud listener Oh Thank yay, you. thank you Glee is amazing Thank you That's a nice I one lo- yes. I love that I, didn't, I hadn't read that one before Sometimes I don't always I'm not as, as obsessed with the obse- oh, Checking every day You check every day I'm obsessed with the iTunes um, But we love that And thank you for that And yes That's how lambs find out You have to share it Yes And sharing is caring Yeah Tell and each other And the lamely is great I love it um, You can but, share the episode Straight into text messages now Yes you can That's, so that's good Everybody has homework now Share the share, episode Yeah <laughs> Share one episode Pick a good one with Send one it one friend Yes <laughs> I, I did that to somebody Because I met somebody And I was like Oh you know I have this Mariah podcast Oh Can we talk real quickly About this crazy word On the street Which is really not A word on the street Why Maybe I should have Told you this before But it just came to my mind Is it a rumor or It wasn't even a word On the street But I ran into these people And I was like Oh I have a Mariah podcast It was like these two guys Did you know them No My right, friend Randy. had like Started talking to one of them And then I was like Introduced and I was like oh okay uh-huh. I got a Mariah podcast because yes. like they were talking about Divas or something and I was like oh okay And they're like oh my god that's so amazing And so like one of the guys I instantly I was like He's I was like what's your favorite song he's like Oh I really love Hero and I was like well we just did an episode On that so I'm gonna text you the episode Right now so you ain't gonna forget Because uh-huh. I'm probably never gonna see you again yes. So here you go so I did that Yes. Um, but the other friend that he was With when he started hearing me Talk about Mariah, he was like, oh, my God, I know her assistant. And I was like, wait, what? Uh, Yeah. Go back, girl. What are you talking about? Because that crazy bitch, you talking about that crazy bitch? (laughs) Or are you talking about the new one? Because I need to know who you talking about Uh before we get into this, because we could be fighting right now. Uh Because if you're friends with who I think you might be friends with, me and you are not going to be friends. Who who He was talking about the former who just was Who's no longer with Mariah What was her name? Leana Oh <laughs> <laughs> So long story short I basically cussed him out And I cussed Leana out To her friend I was like I, I ain't even gonna hear A word of what you got to say <laughs> About anything So we're gonna squash this right now <laughs> So he could have had juicy gossip But I didn't get to it Because I went crazy on him so I was like, I'm not talking about her. She's trash. Her friend is trash. Her family's trash. <laughs> and when he was like, well, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> and then we just went on. <laughs> uh, BT Dub, um, we have another show over at patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Called Unplugged Which is normally where you would get A little tidbit of information like that yeah. But it just came back in my head So I had to share it But there was news about that woman 
suing her cousin and we've talked about it over there. Yeah. We're keeping this moment clean. Exactly. No trash over here. But it was really funny how, like, he wanted to tell me a story and I was like, I will not. It's nothing to do with that. I will not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Dan, we are so over time. We have to go. I know. We have to go. But there's one quick thing we have to do. What? We were just talking about, like, the Lamely and how everybody loves everybody. And we would just like to send a uh, rest in peace to Larissa <gasps> Oh, my God. La- La- Larissa. I almost forgot. I know. We cannot end the show without sending our prayers to her family. Oh, that's so and sad. And our thoughts are with her. She lost her battle with cancer. And I was, she is in yeah. our prayers. Were you following her story on Instagram? Uh, yes, because we follow her on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I was like involved. I wanted to like, get her on the show one day. I know. I know. I, I was nervous. Well, I mean, I, I was too, but you know, and it just, it didn't work out, unfortunately. Yeah. But it's just interesting following the story because you realize how quickly the cancer yeah, will how just take over. How quickly it can go downhill. But yeah. you know what? She lived her best. And fought. And she fought. And yeah. she was, it was not holding her down. Uh-huh. And she made so many dreams and so many things happen in her life. Yeah. By getting married. Uh-huh. And she had a great group of family and friends around her. She and met meeting Mariah. Mariah. Yeah. And like... I mean, I've met Mariah and I've been able to tell her what she means to me, you know, stumbling through my words. Yeah. But when you are such a hardcore Mariah fan and you have that moment to tell Mariah and she listens to you, yeah. that right there is like one of the best moments of your life. And yeah. Larissa had one of those best moments. Several. Several best moments. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those are big and memorable moments. I know. So good for her. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it happens. I, was but I kind of enjoyed like her story. Like, I know. Just, like, following the story. I know because she was fighting and she was yeah. good energy and she yeah. was good people and I liked it and she was spreading the word. And 32, younger than I us. I know. Very young. Is that it can happen to anyone. I know. So, you know, sorry to end on such a sad note. No, no, but rest in peace. But rest in peace and blessed luck to all of her family. And yeah. All the Lamely. They've been showing support for her, so... All right, lambs. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.